Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Fabiano and welcome back to War Thunder. We haven't played War Thunder in a while, uh, but uh, the g people over at Gaijin, I've got to thank them so much uh, for sending me over some golden eagles so I can get the jump on my um, on my research on airplanes and try to get ahead. Uh, the You know, one thing about being a content creator is when you play games, you spread yourself thin. You only have so much time to spend in each kind of game. Otherwise, uh, you know, you're spending too much time with one thing. Um, but with that said, uh, they sent me over this. Um, yes, this is a sponsored video, but I have played War Thunder many times on the channel back in the day. Uh, and uh, I was really, really intrigued by the new 1.59 update called Flaming Arrows. So what is that exactly? Um, Flaming Arrows brings new ground vehicles uh, and they have anti-tank missiles on them now. Uh, additional tanks, artillery vehicles for the USA, Soviet Union um, and German vehicles. Uh, they also have the S4 Wyvern, as you can see right here in front of you. This is their very first turboprop airplane. It's as badass as it looks, let me tell you. Let me tell you. However, if you were to order it, it is $30. Um, I have not ordered it. I am just going to do a test flight and show you what it is. If it's something up your alley, then, you know, go ahead and uh, check that out. Um, there's new missions in the Caucasus region. Uh, and revamped Battle of Britain scenario. Now they have 128 by 128 kilometers of airspace. Remember that one map used to be kind of small. They made it much bigger now. Uh, and you can actually cross the pond there. Um, new hangars to show off. As you can see, we have new hangars. Uh, and you can choose different hangars and whatnot. Uh, that's been added as well. So pretty cool stuff with 1.59. Um, I'm more into airplanes than I am in tanks. But maybe we'll do both today. I don't know. I'm pretty much terrible at all of it. As you can see, I'm only at level three right there. But War Thunder is a free to play game. If you guys want to help my channel out, uh, just click on the link in the description below. If you're interested in playing War Thunder at all, I sure do appreciate it. With that said, let's uh, do a test flight of the S4 Wyvern. I'm pretty excited to see this thing because it is a turboprop airplane. Turboprop airplane in this kind of setting. What? <laughs> I didn't even know it existed until this uh, new update came out. So pretty excited oh listen to that thing let's uh hold c down and look at this airplane oh she is a beaut she's a right beaut yeah guys run to the back god only knows how this takeoff's gonna go that's a lot of power look at the side oh that looks amazing all right let's go ahead and add some power here full power baby oh yeah flaps are on takeoff setting it's a little yaw to the left so we don't kill ourselves here and on up we go gear can come up there they go is that animation beautiful doors are up uh we can bring the flaps back in all right very cool uh flaps are at combat nope i want to bring them up there we go as we get our altitude let's turn to the left and check this baby out See if there's any ground targets over here that we can uh, maybe show the weapon systems off of this guy. Look at that. That is one cool looking airplane, I've got to say. Okay, we have some enemy targets right dead ahead. Uh, so let's aim for these guys over here. God, that thing sounds awesome, doesn't it? That sounds pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. I'm pretty excited to try War Thunder out um, again, mainly because my my Oculus CV1 finally shipped yesterday, so I should have that soon. Uh, I've done War Thunder in the DK2, and it was a pretty awesome experience, but I'm really excited to see the difference in this, uh, CV1. All right, we got this guy right there. Start unloading some... Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. You are gone. Wow, it's nice to have that power. Look at the power you have when you climb in this thing. I can see some people being really destructive in this airplane. I'm not going to lie. I'm using mouse and keyboard because with the War Thunder, remember last time I did play it, um, I was using yoke and or stick and throttle and all that stuff and rudder pedals. You really do have a disadvantage uh, when you're battling people if you're not using the old uh, mouse and keyboard. Which is unfortunate, but it is true. I learned the hard way by getting my ass kicked in many battles, as you do remember. I also did a lot of uh, flights uh, on the live streams with you guys, and uh, I'd love to do that stuff again. Those are a lot of fun to host a session and, and just kind of duke it out. 
Um, I had no good airplanes by, back then, though. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a carrier landing. I don't know how I'm going to do with a mouse and keyboard, especially on the outside view. But we are going to try. We will try. So the mouse left and right is your yaw. And, you know, you have your A and D keyboard is your ailerons. And then up and down on the mouse is your elevator. So not terrible there. All right, let's try to get some flaps in here. I'm slowing this puppy down. We're going to pull our power back here. Look at our airspeed here. 500 and something kilometers an hour. That's pretty fast. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, we'll turn this way. And put some more flaps in. Nope. Nope. I guess we only have two of the flaps. Okay, no big deal. We'll put the gear down. That's definitely going to add some drag here. I'm going to kill the power completely. It's at zero. Ooh, we are going to be high, and that's going to be dangerous for this landing. Let me tell you. But gear is down. We have, uh, yep, confirmed there. Uh, I thought we could put our flaps down a little bit more than that, but I guess maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I've cut the power 100% here, but with this turboprop, man... It's like a real turboprop. Well, I mean, it is a turboprop. What am I saying? But, like, I'm used to, like, flying, you know, King Air 200s and whatnot. Let's see what we can do here. I'm at zero power. I do want to kind of almost stall this puppy right here towards the end. And grab it. Nope. Bolter, bolter. I don't know if they called it bolter back then. Let's have another shot at that. I think we might be able to do it. I think we were way too fast. So we're going to try to slow down even more this time. Just shoot a nice pattern. We have the hook down, your rester cable hook. Woo, back this way. So you can use the uh, the mouse for your ailerons too. Don't get me wrong. All right, yeah, a little bit of power here. I'm going to keep an eye on there. There's the carrier. We're going to try this one more time. Just one more time. Come over this uh, this destroyer over here. Pull the power. Keep turning. Turn and burn, Mav, as they would say. And Top Gun. All right, slowing it down. We're going to really try to stall this baby out almost onto the deck. Bleed some airspeed, man. This thing does not want to slow down. Look at that speed, 200-something. Come on, up, up, up. Come on, grab it. Yeah, beautiful. We got it. How about that? And they rearm it. And so on and so forth. Yeah, I just wasn't comfortable with that last one. So, <laughs> but that's the uh, the good old uh, S4 Wyvern. I think it's a pretty awesome airplane. Um, uh, it is one of those additional packs, like I said, about thirty bucks, similar to how the P51 was marketed. All right, we got to see all the fun stuff. As you can see, I have an F2A3 Buffalo. Um, I've got an A6M2. I've got a P-26. That's the old pea shooter, I call it. The back of the day. Is it actually? I think it was actually called the pea shooter. Yeah, it is the pea shooter. Uh, and the P-36A Hawk is one of the newer ones that I uh, researched. So we're getting better airplanes over time. It's just taking a little bit. There's the uh, Buffalo. I didn't have that earlier. The F-2A. Not a bad looking airplane. What do you say we jump into a air battle and see how bad we get our butt kicked? Um... The reason why I did buy a Spitfire uh, on the British side of things is so I could have at least one boom and zoom airplane. Uh, and we will do that a little later on as well. So we're doing arcade battles. We haven't done this. Uh, last time we did the simulated battles and I mean, they are fun. Don't get me wrong. But this is uh, this is more action, as you would say. I mean, you still have to fly places and whatnot, but uh for the most part, it's uh, it's a lot more action. It shows people's names and all that good stuff. Um, so hello to anybody that we may come across that sees this video. How are you today? All right, we're in the air. Whoa, P-38 Lightning. Look at that baby go. In Cleveland. Ooh, it's going to use that. Whoa, somebody's shooting something already. I think they're uh, testing. Oh, we got a BF-109 and a Yak-7. Good luck, guys. You, you, Yeah, we're going to need some good luck here. Let's go to watch some speed here. I'm going to keep some altitude. I'm not really sure. Not too particular with the Buffalo. I'm going to try to get a shot on this P-40, though. Nah, he's diving. I don't want to get killed here right off the bat. There's a 109. 
I'm going to get some more altitude here before we start on somebody. There's an A36 there. Let's go start a turn. He is already firing at me. That didn't take very long, did it? Nope. Come on. Let's get this guy right here. Nope. Back around that way. Whoa. -ho -ho. More power. I'm trying to save that guy's life here. Getting some hits on him a little bit here and there. Back around. Oh, okay. Nope. Not going after him anymore. Get the hell on out of there, Jeff. We got somebody on our six, too. That's always good. Let's keep an eye on what's going on behind us. That was that P400. I think he was just taking shots at us. All right. We'll get our altitude back. Uh, there's a Wellington coming right towards us. Beef Wellington. Oh, you don't look fun. Try to get some shots on him here. I mean, he is right there. Why not? Keep turning, baby. He's slow. That's why I was going for him. Let's not get asphyxiated on one target here. We got to watch our back here. Okay, 143 there. This Yak-7 is probably coming after me. Turn in on him right now. Oh, we got an A36. Might be a decent shot. Getting hits on him there. All the way left. Overload that, baby. Getting some hits on him there. Back around. Oh, he is trying some stuff there. We are probably getting asphyxiated on this target when we should not be. Yep, let's get the hell on out of there. Climb if we can. Watch our six. It's clear. We got some planes to our right and left. There's that one there that we were just going after. We'll go back after him again. The A36. He's still in a pretty good range for us. Overheating. Pull it back a little bit. Yeah, he's going to outrun us. Let's go this way. Just keep an eye behind us. That P400's there. Pull some power back here. There he is. Oh, this looks interesting right here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Try to get some shots on him there. Come back around on him. All right. Let's line up on him. Shots on him there. Some hits. Oh, we had somebody right on our six. That was terrible. I was getting asphyxiated on my target, and we, now we got somebody right all over us right now. Whoop. Kill that power, baby. <laughs> that was close. Did you see that? Wow. Somebody is really, really honing in on us here. I turn back around. I'm going after this K143 since he's right here. Oh, we are so dead. Yeah. Shh. All right, we're in our A6M. Let's try something a little bit better. A better tactic, shall we? Let's get some altitude and try to zoom in on some guys here. As we head back to the battlefield, as you can see, it's a lot more action, thrilled stuff. Action packed, as you would say. Um, these arcade battles. And I know a lot of you guys like that to see the outside of the airplane rather than just flying in the cockpit all the time. So I figured I would just change it up a little bit. Let's watch behind us. We're good. We got some planes here. That F2A right there, baby. Got an enemy kill assist there. Whoa, he's going into the water there. I don't know if he's going to die. Yep, he's splash one. Whoa, we got somebody on our sticks. Watch out here. Ooh, I don't think so, buddy. It was this P-36, I believe, trying to get on us. We got something right on us, so that was him shooting at me. One of the two. Come on, get some hits on that P-36. Ooh, we got somebody right on our tail. This is not good. This didn't work out for us well at all here, did it? No, that's... I think it's just him, that, P that other P-36. I'm going to get some altitude here. Make sure nobody's going to follow us up. That Spitfire there. He's, our, he's a threat, kind of, to us. Let's go in this way. It's a hurricane. We might be able to get a shot on him there. 
Nope. Oh, yeah, we got a hit on him there. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Who is that? It's this guy right here. Yep. It's that. That one right there. Keep turning, baby. Keep turning. Oh, that was a terrible mistake going for altitude. Yeah, I did that to myself. I know. Come on. Hang on. Do it. Yeah, right. Like we could ever fly that. Punch out. Eject. Let's just watch us die. There it goes. Boom. Good one, Flamey. Good one. All right. We're in the Hawk. I've never flown this airplane yet. I'm not sure what its weaknesses or its advantages are, but we're going to try to do something regardless. Regardless. Some pretty decent people in this match. Uh, I did a few matches before I, uh, before I recorded and uh, I did pretty well. I got a couple kills, but... I also was flying airplanes that I had flown before and knew a little bit more about. All right, let's get this guy right here. He's flaming already and we can end his life a little bit easier for him. Oh, somebody else is going for him, it looks like. Oh, he's going down. That's a waste of time. What's this right here? Let's do it. Got a hit on him there. Well, this thing's got some power. I'm not going to lie. Pretty impressed with it. Let's get some altitude. Oh, shit. We got somebody on us. This way. Pull that power back. And turn it real hard here if I can. Let him go underneath us just like that. Come on, baby. It was that typhoon. Everybody's going for this guy right now, it looks like. Got a hit on him there. Oh, jeez. That was right behind us is this guy. I need to remember to look behind me. That's what I got to do. Let's get the hell out of there. Jeez. We're capturing zone A. Oh, we need to go back over that way then. Oh, we got some somebody on us here. Oh, it's a P-38 Lightning. We can out turn him. Pull that power. Let him go underneath us. Back to the left. Where'd he go? Let's turn it again. That's not very good. He's still on us. I think he still wants me. No, we're good. No, nope. he's still after me. He's definitely still after me. Let's go this way, baby. No, you don't, you bastard. Not good when you have a P-38 on your ass because he's got some good, decent guns in that thing. Trying to avoid all this gunfire. He's still there. No, he, I think he gave up. No, he definitely didn't. We got to be 25 over there too. Come back around on that guy. Slow it down, slow it down. We're trying to capture the zone here. It's just a nightmare. We got here, yeah, this guy. I think he's too far away on range. Yeah, he is. We need like 500 meters before we start shooting at people. Uh, he's closing in on us pretty fast. Nope, don't like that. He's going down. This guy here, shoot for the engines. Don't get too caught up on this one guy, dude. Watch our six. We're clear on the six. Oh, man. Reload, reload. Nope. 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 Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Exit that strategy. The hell out of that. Jeez Louise. That was a terrible idea. All right. Then we have weapons again. They have been reloaded. All right. We got a little bit of structure damage on our plane here. Might be able to get some hits on this B-25 though. Oh, let's get the 109. If we can just get a shot on him, it might be all right. Ooh, got a two-time hit on him there. Come on, let's finish the job. If I shoot out a 109, that'd be amazing. Ooh, up, up, over. Oh, there's still be somebody there waiting to, to spoil the fun. More hits on him. Come on, take his ass out. He's bailing. He's bailing. 
I should probably bail too. All right, we got this guy down here. Jeez, dude. We just ran into each other. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you guys uh, play War Thunder and probably know more about it than I do. I fly a lot of flight simulators and whatnot. Not so good at the uh, at these kind of things. I'm trying to get little pot shots on him. He's on fire. Get a hit on him there. Get the hell out of there, man. He's on fire. Just trying to get that kill. It would have been real, a lot easier than it looks. He's going to go for him instead. That's all right. We'll be a team player. We'll head back over here to the zone. We're doing all right. We're winning. We've taken the initiative. We've taken the initiative. B18. Oh, he's going down. He's going down Chinatown. All right, let's look around. Come over this way. Watch our six. Got some airplanes up there. Oh, I think somebody's booming, zooming. I thought they were from above, it looked like. Uh, he's too far away. That'd be 25. He's going to go for a bombing run. Oh, we're in a terrible spot here. We have no altitude, and I uh, might have something against this F2A. I'm going to try. Clear. Keep climbing. Keep climbing, little pea shooter. I know you can do it. All right, we have the Typhoon and a JU-88. Let's go for the Typhoon instead of the Junkers. F2A is pretty close. He's a lot closer. This Buffalo. Oh, he's going down. He dead. Nice job, guys. Now, I didn't do the best, but hey, we did something at least. We contributed to the win. That's what I like to say. <laughs> all right, researching progress. Look at all this fun stuff. All right, we got 50 th first victories. How about that? Got 33 hits, assists were six. Uh, I didn't get any kills though, obviously. We would have known that. We would have seen it. We'll hit okay there. And let's do one more thing. I'm not worried about this right now. All right, on the British side of things, let's go with the old Spitfire. Do some zoom and boom fun. All right, cool. Let's hit to battle and we'll do this one. All right, we are climbing up here to do some boom and zoom stuff. We got some interesting airplanes up here. Sonar 8 in his I-185. Uh, A6M's down there. They're up there at pretty good altitude. Oh, B-17 bombers. Let's go after this A6M. We have the energy right now. Might as well try to use it. Come on, turn in on him here. Ooh, got a critical hit on him. It was worth it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get some altitude. Watch our butt here. Altitude and speed is king when we're doing boom and zoom. The 109 behind us. He's kind of looking interested. Let's turn out a little bit here. Let's get some speed again. That A6M's down there still. All right, let's turn this way. Let's pick ourselves a slow moving target here that's occupied by somebody. That Yak-9 looks pretty good there. He's kind of by himself. Let's go for the Yak. Oh, he just disappeared. I think he's dead. Yep, let's get our altitude again. Looking for our next target. That A6M doesn't look so bad right now. Let's go for the A A6M. Back at it, baby. Zoom in. He's got smoke on. Flak is coming in strong here as we're near a military base. Oh, uh, this is such a bad idea, possibly. Yeah, he's he's bugging. He's bugging. This is not worth it. Get the hell out of that mess. 
Not too many airplanes in this general area. There's an F4U Corsair right there. Hey, that rhymed. F4U Corsair right there. Uh, who else we got over here? Somebody on the left? No. Nope. Left looks clear. No, there's some B-25s down there and whatnot. I really get a shot on that B-25. Let's try it. 3.6. He's got some speed on us, but we do too. Oh shit, somebody's doing it to us. The hell on out of there. I don't know who it was. It's that P-51. Yep, it's the P-51. Shit, we are dead. Critical, critical thing I did there was being an idiot and going after that B-25. We had a P-51 just waiting for me to do that. Uh, I'm hanging up. Wing loose. Yeah, we're dead. Bye-bye. We punched out. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> Can't win them all. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's good to be back in War Thunder. Like I said, you know, once I get my Oculus Rift, maybe I'll do some video showcasing uh, what you can do in the realistic air battles. Those are a lot of fun, especially in an Oculus Rift like that. Um, but if you guys want to jump into War Thunder um, and, uh, and have fun, uh, the link is in the description below. It helps me out uh, and it's free to play. So you don't lose there. Um, yeah, you have to do the research and the grind, but also they have the option for you to uh, pay for some packages to get you up the speed of some decent airplanes and whatnot. So you're not uh, totally in the dark there. With that said, guys, uh, that'll do it for this video. Um, next time we're going to uh, do the uh, do the tanks. How about that? Yeah, we'll do tanks next time and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.